What's up guys, it's boy Jay from JS Films and welcome back to this video tutorial. What we're gonna do today is just go over some of the stuff that we can add to this scene and make it look better because obviously the first video was kind of crappy because we just had one light. So today we're gonna add some stuff to the scene that will hopefully make it a little bit better. So the first thing you're gonna notice is we turned on a practical light. Now in movies you're gonna notice that even in daylight, in daytime, they still have practical lights. They still have lights on. I know it doesn't make sense that way, but they just use it as a cinematography tool just to give that scene just a little bit of depth, you know? Because if I didn't have this right now, this thing would be, just be pitch black. So for our uh, practical lighting, you can get a bulb, but what I am using is just a little aperture uh, M9. It's pretty cool and we have a little bit of CTO. Let me turn this off so you can see it better. Now I'm using this because I don't wanna to have to worry about a bulb or anything like that. And you can dim it down as much as you want and then obviously just put a gel to change the color. Now I am using CTO because it is daylight and it's supposed to be a practical bulb. Now these lights usually are practical tungsten balance. So that's what we're trying to mimic with this light. We're just gonna put it there. All right, so what I'm showing you now is just with the added practical light, the added aperture M9 without the key light, without the Viltrox that is uh, just right here off camera left. And now what I'm gonna do is turn that on and you can see the difference. All right, so I'm just gonna shine this light here. So for the key light, what we're doing here is supplementing my face with this light, with this little Viltrox LED light because the practical light alone will not uh, have enough level on me. So what we're doing is we're just black wrapping this Viltrox LED off of the wall and we're just pointing it at my face. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like, obviously. Okay, so now this is with the key light turned on. So that key light, like I said, is supplementing this light because this light is not giving me enough level. So now you can probably see my face just a little bit better. So when I was reviewing the video on the camera, I seemed like there was a little bit of flare going on. So I ended up black wrapping the other side of the Viltrox LED, the key light. And I also added a little bit of something in the background on that side because that wall is just too white. Uh, if you had a, like a set designer, they would take care of that for you, but I'm just working by myself. So I ended up just grabbing something and putting it there so it's not too boring. So the last thing we're gonna add is a smoke machine or a fog machine. I can't afford an actual hazer, so I'm just using a little cheapo $30 fog machine that I got in some electronic store here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So with a smoke machine, since I don't have a hazer, I usually wait a couple minutes until the actual smoke fog goes away because I just want a little bit of haze in the room. Unless you're going for that scary or, you know, like rap video effect to have the room really smoky, a little bit of haze is just the thing that we actually want here. We don't want the room to be full with smoke because we just want it very subtle. 